sculpture. It's been called the science of the bump and the hollow. It's Jock Hildebrand's passion, and he's clearly been influenced by a lifetime of travel and 27 different occupations, from commercial fishing to ambulance unit chief on Denman Island. As a young man and a young family man, um, after I graduated, I realized I couldn't make money from what I was really truly passionate about and that was sculpture. So I took up uh, painting and made my living as a watercolorist and, and acrylic painter for, for quite a number of years. At one point I had a sudden revelation that said, you know what, you don't want to do this stuff. You know what you want to do and you'd better get to it. And so I promptly did. It was really in your brain that counts. With a minor degree in non-Western art history and time spent living in Africa and Asia, Jock appreciates a wide variety of art forms. Yeah, I love this space. When I moved here, I found a tremendous number of really good artists, but I was really surprised to find that there was no public art gallery here, and that's something I would really like to see happening here, and I'm really interested in talking to people who would like to make that happen. Shibui is a Japanese aesthetic term, meaning within simplicity, there is complexity. And I was thinking something here really, really big and, and bulbous. Jock and his wife, Carmen, are excited about workshops, fashion shows, and lectures at their gallery. Sculpture, of course, is my passion. And I, I love my own sculpture, but I also really love other people's sculpture. So I want to have a sculpture garden that's accessible to the public here. They can walk around our, our pond, and we'll have large pieces placed all the way through, as well as a small sculpture courtyard, which is just outside the building here. We don't want to play in this gallery with anything that's not totally unique and totally excellent. We intend this to become a real cultural hub. Jock Hildebrand has installations around the world. The largest piece that I've done to date is a piece in Vietnam. It's 32 metric tons of carved stone, marble, and granite. I enjoy doing large pieces like that. And, and I've worked in all kinds of mediums and sculpture. I've welded stainless steel, cast iron. Um, I have my own bronze foundry, so I do all my own bronze casting. Um, stone, of course, um, found materials. So I have a very eclectic approach to materials I use in my projects. Jock also promotes the spiritual, economic, and aesthetic value of public art. So I spent a year in Florence, and around every corner there was a piece of public art. And, and it was a marvelous surprise. This artist loves collaborating with architects and other professionals. This piece will be installed at a commercial residential development, La Masia, in Surrey. Jock states the artist will never achieve perfection. Mm, do a lot of it, do it all the time. <laughs> <laughs> what I really like to do is I like to do art that challenges the viewer. I don't want to do pretty pictures. I don't want to have a, a, a statue of somebody, although I have done that. But I really want to have something that will challenge the viewer. Do they get it? Is it complex? Is it simple? Is it both? From the Shibui Gallery in Maple Bay, I'm Daphne Good for Go on Shaw TV.